Hello, welcome to FratHouseSports.com. My name is Joe Shockley, and this is our review of last night's BCS national title game. Auburn is our new national champions, and if we've learned anything, is that the SEC can be beaten, just not in national title games. They rolled over Oregon, and now that's five straight for the SEC with four different teams. You can't argue with that dominance. However, Oregon didn't roll over. They played them tight. They played them tough. But if there's one thing they learn is that until you've played an SEC defense, you haven't played an SEC defense. They're too fast, they're too big, and they're too tough. They took LaMichael James' lunch money, they wolfed down some Chick-fil-A, and they handed it back to him and say, hey, here's the leftovers, here's 47 yards. What's more, a team that's going 300 yards on the ground every game and then comes in and only rolls up 75 is totally weak. That's a curb stomping. The quarterback, Darren Thomas, learned the exact same lesson. It seemed like he couldn't make any reads out there. Hand off to the running back, slammed. Keeps it for himself, sacked. Keeps it for himself, throws it down the field, intercepted. All in all, it was just too much. However, there was another quarterback on there, out there on the other team. I think you know his name. He didn't know anything about that 180 GER, allegedly, and he went out there and put on a show. He made the plays that showed why he's the Heisman Trophy winner, for now. Newton takes the snap, gives it to Dyer. The freshman back runs for six to the 46. He was tackled by Eddie Pleasant. No, he wasn't. He's still on his feet at the 40. 35, 30, down the sideline to the 23. He was pulled down on top of Pleasant. Everybody stopped except for Dyer. Got to call out the Oregon State defense here. Come on, guys. If there's anything we learned in Pop Warner football, is that you play until you hear a whistle. In this case, you didn't. Dyer took it down. It set up the plays that led to the game-winning field goal. That's on you guys. However, Oregon did win one battle, and they won it convincingly. It was the battle of the cheerleaders. Listen, we know that Oregon has the hottest cheerleaders out there. That's a fact. However, you have to be disappointed that Auburn didn't even put up a fight, especially when we know that they know how to get down. It's, it's definitely disappointing because, I mean, the 1973 Alabama cheerleaders think that was weak. I mean, seriously, Auburn cheerleaders, long sleeves on the sidelines, didn't you get the memo? The game was played in Arizona. The game was also played indoors. However, maybe they were just taking the lead from head coach Gene Chizik. He was rocking the turtleneck under the jacket, and if anybody knows what's going on, he does. And hey, how about Brent Musburger? Dude is a legend, but maybe he's getting senile. I love him calling the touchdown before it's a touchdown, especially when it's not a touchdown. And I'm also so, so thankful that he welcomed in the channel surfers when there was two minutes left to go in the game, and it was past midnight on the East Coast. But hey, nothing beats this call. Sure, they get it down. This is for all the Tostitos. Dude is legendary. He can say whatever he wants to say. The old marbles are the new Tostitos. Criticize them all you want, but when you've been around that long and you've been talking that long, you can get away with whatever you want. For FretHouseSports.com, that was your BCS review. I'm Joe Shockley. I am out.